Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial. Today we are going to see how to get and set properties through Groovy scripts in SOAP UI. So in the last session we have learnt about properties in SOAP UI and how to use them. So today it's going to be very easy and we will see how to get property, set property, add property through scripts in SOAP UI and we will also see how do you remove property and how can you loop through all the properties in SOAP UI with the help of Groovy scripts. So let's get started and let me open my SOAP UI. So here is my SOAP UI and here is our project that we have been creating in the last sessions and this is the country info service SOAP project and in the last session we created a groovy script this one where we were accessing properties and I believe one of the things that I missed in the last session was you can also uh, get global properties and these properties are situated here if you go to your preferences and go to global properties here if you have any property for example I will say this is name and value is I am global property and I close this and I say here hash global hash name and run it and you can see the result it is getting it from the global properties. So now coming back to today's agenda we have to do all this with the help of groovy scripts so what i'm going to do is in our existing project i will create a new step which will be a groovy script step so i'll just click here and i can name it get set properties and i say ok and i will take it up let me take it to the top here and yes so now here we have our groovy script where we can do our scripting. So the very first thing we will learn about is how to get property. Okay. So now here we can get property at different levels. So we can get property at project level, at test suite level, test case level, test step level. Okay. So to get the property at project level we can say test runner and test runner is actually a interface which provides an entry point to the SOAP UI API and so you can see the Java docs here for interface test runner and do not worry about this as of yet we will learn about it in the later sessions as well but for now we can just understand the syntax so here we say test runner test case dot test suite dot project and then we say get property value and the property key here so for example if I go to the project level and if I go to the properties we can see we have here two properties where key is name and this is the value and for the second property key is country name and value is in so what we are going to do is we are going to fetch the name here and now we can also print it by log.info and we can say here project property equals and we can actually store it in some variable we can say project property and print the same thing here and if I run this uh, there is some property so okay project is should be lowercase so there is no nothing like uppercase here so it's lowercase and let me run it now and yes you can see this prints I am a project property so similarly if you want to go to the test suite level you will have the same thing here instead of project we will just go until test suite level and let me make it as test suite property and I will just again print it out on the console I will say this is test suite property and the variable we have stored is this so let me print it here and of course you should uh, keep the first letter as lowercase which is good coding practice 
I'll copy it and I will print it here and of course we have a property called name at the test suite level as well that we created in our last session so let me run it now and yes it is saying I am a test suite property similarly for test case let me just copy this again and paste it here and here we just have to go until test case and I will name it as test case property and here as well and paste it here let me run it and I am getting the test case property as well now in case of test step what do we do is we say test runner dot test case dot get test step by name so we can get the test step by its name so in our case we have this property step here the name is country codes and do not get confused by this digit 2 this means the number of properties in this property step so we have two properties name and country name that's why it is showing two otherwise the name is just country codes okay so I will say the name country codes and then the same thing get property value name and of course we can log it to console I will just copy this from here paste it here and here I will say this is test step property and I have not put it into a variable I will say this is test step property and I will print it out to the console so you can see here we can access the test step property as well so we can get properties at all the levels now also you can get the properties at global level so the global properties are here as I discussed earlier if you go to your preferences and go to global properties here you can set and get properties here so for example we have already a property name and if you want to fetch it there is a different syntax and actually there is a web page here for SOAP UI I will also copy this in the notes so that you can get it in the description of this video and here you can see how to get and set property and for getting a global property this is the syntax so I can just copy this and go to my SOAP UI and paste it so here this is what you will say com.everywhere.soapui.soapui global properties and the get property name value and the name of the property so in our case it is name and then we will also print it and we will say I will just copy it from here paste it and I will say this is global property and here let me clear this and run it again and you can see we are now getting the global property as well okay so this was how simple and easy how we can get property we can actually set property with the same syntax the only difference is instead of get property value we will say set property value and along with the key we will also give the value so we have to give the key and the value so for example I will say name and I can say so I can actually override this so earlier it was like I am a project property I can say I am in project similarly for test suite I will say name is I am in test suite similarly for test case I will say set property value and the property is name and value I will set to I am in test case and for test step again I will say set property value name and the value will be I am in test step and then for global as well we can do the same thing instead of get I will say set property value and the property is name and value I will set to is I am in global properties okay so now I will just clear this console 
and now of course uh, this will not make sense because we are just setting it so we do not want so we do not want to store it so let me just clear out all the log infos and all the variables here so yes now we have this set property so you can see these are the simple syntax if I run this it will set all the properties as per what we have given so for example in project we have set name should be I am in project if I go to the project and I go to the property section you can see here it has changed it and you can see name is now I am in project earlier it was something else similarly you can go to test suite or test case if I go to test suite and I go to properties you can see it is changed I am in test suite and of course if you go to test case and properties again it is I am in test case and for test step as well you can see this is changed name is I am in test step and for global also let us go to preferences and global properties and here as well it is updated to I am in global properties of course you can do a log dot info and actually you can just either you can get it like we did earlier or you can directly say test runner dot test case dot that dot test suit dot project dot get property value name and if I run this you can see it gets the property value as well so this is how you set the property now you can also add property with the same syntax for example I say in case of project I will say test runner dot test case dot test suite dot project dot add property and I can give the key or the property name so for example I will say dob so let's say I want to add date of birth so I will just say dob and run it and if you go to the project now you can see the dob property is now added here okay now one thing to note here is when you say add property you can only add the key and not the value but with set property you can also add key and value at the same time so this is the difference between set property value and add property now let us also see how do we remove property and again the syntax is very simple instead of set or get you will say remove property here so I will say remove property and of course we just have to give the key or the property name and nothing else let me delete this also you can use control D on your keyboard to delete an entire line so I'll delete this and here again I will say remove property name so let us do this only for project and test suite and for the others it will be same so let me just run this now uh, there is some error let me clear this and run this again it says no signature of method uh, remove property is applicable for argument type string value names I will comment out the test suite part and only go for test okay it should be property and here as well it should be yeah this is fine right let me run it now and yes so it uh, it should have removed it so if I go to the project level you can see there is no name as of now and if I go to the test suite level as well and go to the properties you can see the name property is now removed okay now let us also see how do you loop through all the properties and this will be very useful when you are actually creating and coding for your projects let us go back to our soap UI so here let me comment everything else so I will comment this out and the comments are the same as in Java so you use 
double forward slash for line comments you can also use single forward slash and then multiple stars and then a forward slash for again this is a line comment and then you can say forward slash star and this is a block comment okay now to loop through properties let us say we want to loop through properties of a test case so we will say test runner dot test case dot properties dot each so each is again a keyword and we will start a curly braces and the curly braces so this will be a block here we will say key value and give a hyphen and a conical bracket here and now we can actually log dot info the key so for example if i run this you can see it is giving us all the keys here right all the property names here and we can also get the value so for example i say i also want the values i will say value and let me clear this out and let me run this and it is giving us value in some other format we can actually also log dot info and then we can say test runner dot test case dot get property value and the property name will be here key because the it is iterating and storing it to key and now let me run it i will clear this and run this and you can see it is showing me i am in test case tw null which is actually for the test case if you go to the test case you can see the properties and you can see these are the properties that it is printing okay so this is how you can get set add remove and loop through properties in soap ui i hope this session was very useful for you so this session and the properties will be very useful throughout your soap ui testing and throughout your project creation in soap ui so i hope this all was very useful for you i will meet you in the next episode of soap ui thank you for watching